godlike. What is up, guys? Godlike man, and you are watching the final installation for the Let's Platinum of Dark Souls 3. So this is going to be covering the last and final trophy that I haven't covered yet, which is to get all the rings on New Game Plus and on New Game Plus Plus. So we're going to be starting with the Plus 1 rings, which you can only find on New Game Plus. And all the Plus 2 rings are on New Game Plus Plus. So, and what's really cool is actually if you miss any of the Plus 1 rings, um, they'll all be there on New Game Plus Plus as well. So if you happen to miss one, uh, you can, you know, grab any plus one rings you missed while going for your plus two rings. So, it's pretty cool, you know, every time you beat the game, everything respawns, and from new game plus plus and higher, all the rings will be available to you, so, you know, if you fuck up by any means, there you go. It's, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to correct your mistake. But, I'm just gonna talk, uh, while I showcase... The location of each individual ring. Um, maybe I'll put in the description uh, the time zones for each ring. But uh, God, that's gonna take a lot of work. <laughs> but um, now that I've said, it, I have to do it. So fuck me. I just gave myself more work. God damn it. You're lucky. I love you guys. But um, yeah. So uh, obviously, this audio is being recorded after the fact. This isn't live. And because like the fucking I got 8 billion clips in here, so there was no sense in fucking talking for like 30 second clips. Uh, I'm just gonna... Uh, for my last episode, it's just gonna be me talking and uh, you guys watching the locations while I uh, yap my fucking mouth off, so... Hope you enjoy that, because that's what you're in for. If not, there's the door! But anyways... Um, so, uh, I, as my fellow subscribers may have already noticed... I haven't really done anything in the last couple days, uh, and I'm gonna be honest, uh, I, I don't even really have an excuse for you, all I'm gonna tell you is why I haven't, and it's because I had Nath over the last couple days, and I also picked up Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix, uh, just a few days ago, I actually ordered it online because it is Im fucking possible to find in the store now, like, impossible, at least in Toronto, anyway, and, uh, so I finally got my copy because uh, I ordered it online. Found a really good copy too. It was uh, it was twenty five bucks, which is exactly how much it is in the store. And uh, I only had to pay five extra for shipping, and it was in the 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 seller was in Canada, so I I got it within a couple days. It was pretty fucking sweet, and it was the last copy he had too. So it was really awesome. That I I I consider that a fucking bargain. Like. Only paying five dollars extra, ordering something online—that's fucking amazing. Uh, from like original pricing, because most, if not everybody, like ninety percent of sellers on eBay or Amazon or wherever the hell you shop, uh, always overprice the shit out of things, just simply because you're buying it online and it's harder to find. So, that, you know, dick move, guys. But luckily, I found this cool guy was selling it at a pretty good price. I only had to pay $5 extra, and you know what? When I looked at that and saw I'd only be paying $5 extra, I was like, that's that's pretty fucking good. I'm going to do it. So I did it. Now I have this really hard-to-find game, and, you know, I needed it. I had the 1.5 remix. I was missing the 2.5, and now I have it. And now when 2.8 comes out, I'll pick that up probably day one because I really want to play it. I'm, I'm actually pretty into Kingdom Hearts right now, and as I was going to say, uh... You know, since I picked that up, um, I've been playing it, and I've never actually played uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep before. I've never played it before. Um, I kind of stopped playing the Kingdom Hearts series after KH2 because, um, and I fucking hate when developers do this so much. Uh, they they made all the other sequels to the game uh, portable games. Like, there was fucking, uh, 358 and a half days, or whatever the hell, I don't even know if I got the number right, but it was a game that was on DS, it was all about the organization, and they were all playable, and it shows you Roxas' story before page 2. Um, that was a good game, uh, Birth by Sleep is fantastic, I've been playing it, and I really love it, I, I'm totally gonna get into that in a second, and, uh, Dream Drop Distance looks 
very um, appealing because, uh, you know, they got a lot of interesting cameos in that game. Like, I'm excited to see the World Ends With You characters in that game because I love the World Ends With You. That's one of my favorite handheld games ever. And I hate handheld consoles. Hate them. But that game was fucking amazing. And it's definitely one of the best handheld games ever made. So it's really cool to see them cameo into, uh, you know, fucking uh, a Kingdom Hearts game. And, uh, you know, Riku's playable. So, which is awesome for me because he was my childhood favorite character in Kingdom Hearts. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I totally stopped playing the series after KH2 because I, I didn't want to fucking buy each individual fucking handheld for each game. Like, it was ludicrous. You had 358 dash days on on uh, regular 3DS and then you had Birth by Sleep on PSP and then you had Dream Drop on 3DS um wait did I say regular 3DS I meant to say regular DS and then Dream Drop is on 3DS which is the newer model but uh that's three different fucking consoles like that's crazy I'm not gonna spend all that fucking money on each one mind you I've owned each one but, uh, you know, not when the games came out. Like, I didn't get a 3DS until a few months back. And the only reason I bought one was for Fire Emblem Fates. Um, you know, and before that, all I had was a fucking PSP. I, I sold my regular DS somewhere down the line, completely stopped playing it. And, uh, so, you know, Kingdom Hearts just spiraled out of control. All the games were being released and released on different things. And I was like, fuck that. I'm not following that garbage. That is so dumb. Why would you not, like, I hate when a sequel to, like, a main franchise is put on a handheld. That is so fucking dumb. That that was like uh, Metal Gear Peace Walker on, on PSP. That was so fucking retarded because the Metal Gear games are such big story-driven games. And you can't have a game like that on a handheld. It just doesn't work. Like, the game that handhelds limit games. Uh, they make them, they feel smaller, the gameplay feels lacking most of the time. Uh, it's really impressive when a game feels like a legitimate game on a handheld, and I'll get more into that in a, I'll get more into that in a minute. But, uh, yeah, as I've said in the past, I fucking hate handheld games, and that's why I didn't follow Kingdom Hearts. But now, uh, all the games have been remastered for PS3 and PS4, so... Now I, I could totally catch myself up on the series, because I've always loved the series. I, I grew up with Kingdom Hearts. I love those games. And uh, so now I can finally play all those games that I missed, which is really cool. Because um, I, I did not regret not buying those those consoles and those games, so, like, fuck that. But now that I have them, it's pretty awesome, because now I can catch myself up with the series. Uh, now that that's all out of the way, I can talk about it. So I've been playing a lot of Birth by Sleep. And what I've been wanting to say is, holy shit, Birth by Sleep is fucking impressive. I, I mean, I don't know if it felt that good on uh, PSP, but it feels amazing on PS3. It, like, that game feels like a legitimate full-blown KH game. The only thing about Birth by Sleep that makes it feel like a PSP game is... Uh, the the world sizes each world is only like a few rooms long which is really shitty but that's it the gameplay is solid it's got a, a fair amount of depth to it like and you it's a confusing game at first glance like there's a lot to it it's 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 a very different kh game than the other kh games that that, that came out before it like the the command decks and the fucking melding moves and the and the shot lock and all this crazy shit that was added to the game. It's all different from the, the KH games before it. So it was like a, a big learning process for me. And that's what made it so fun. Like, I haven't beaten it yet. I'm, I'm just about to finish Terra's story. But that's all I've done. And, uh... Yeah, like, it's awesome. And you got these three, uh, you know, new, very interesting, awesome characters. Who are all very likable. And... It's very story-driven on the KH story, and it's a prequel, which is really cool, because prequels are almost always amazing for anything, whether it be movies, shows, games. Prequels are always awesome for the most part. There's only a few that suck ass, but um, 
you know, like, fucking the Star Wars movies. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, Birth by Sleep is really good, and I'm, I'm so impressed with how good that game feels for a handheld game. And also the graphics. The graphics look fucking awesome. Like, they're not amazing, but for a Kingdom Hearts game, like, they, they rival KH1. Which, in my book, is fucking fine, and that's impressive, because, you know, uh, KH1, I love KH1, that game is charming as hell, it's awesome, and when you have graphics that are better slash rivaling it on, on handheld, that's fine, it makes the game feel right at home on console, like, what, what I'm getting at he here is, Birth by Sleep, which was originally a PSP game, feels really fucking good on console, it feels great, and that's why I'm really enjoying it like if this is where the game should have been to begin with it should have been a console game the only problem is small levels other than that combat's great graphics are great soundtrack's great everything's great kh is there you it feels like a legitimate kh game so i'm really enjoying it and wow i talked about that a lot longer than i wanted to but that's what i've been doing the past couple days and that turned into a mini fucking rant slash opinionated whatever. But now that that's out of the way, uh, we're a little over halfway through the video here. But uh, I actually also wanted to take this time to talk about what I'm going to do next. Because as I always say, it feels fucking amazing to finish a project. Like holy shit, I've been working hard the past couple weeks. On Dark Souls 3. I've been putting up videos for this game non-stop almost every day. Uh, almost two a day. Uh, I've been doing really good with this game. And the final part took a few days to come out because uh, I, I kind of got lazy with the million fucking clips I had to record for each ring. But now it's finally all here and done. You're watching it. And uh, I platinumed the game uh, a few days back. But uh, now that, like, it's all on my channel, like, you can watch me legitimately platinum this game. And the whole project's done. Let's platinum conclude it. And I'm really happy about that because, as I've said before, you know, I got fucking six billion projects on the back burner. And, I, you know, this is another one down out of the way that now I can get back to stuff that I, you know, need to finish. But at the same time, it's hard to keep up because I got so much new shit coming out. Like, at the end of this month, you know, 20 days from now, we got Resident Evil 4, and that's a fucking big one. When that game comes out on PS4, it's gonna demand all my attention. All my focus is gonna go into that game. I'm gonna be playing the fucking shit out of it. And RE4 is gonna be the only thing on my mind when that game comes out. And everything else is gonna be put on the back burner once again. So I can just uh, fucking bulldoze through that game and get a fucking video series out on it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, whether it be a Let's Platinum or a Let's Play. I don't know. Uh, I still I got to figure that out. But that's going to be the next thing. The next big project that comes out that's like new. Because it comes out at the end of the month. It's the next new game coming out. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be the next thing. But... Aside from RE4, like, while we're waiting for that to come out, what I'm going to be focusing on, I think, is uh, mainly two games. There are two games right now that I really want to focus on when I have time to make videos, which is, um, uh, fucking, I lost my train of thought. Um, Resident Evil 5. I, I'm having a lot of fun playing that, and I want to finish the Let's Platinum via stream. And uh, Uncharted 4, which I also want to do the same thing. I want to finish that Let's Platinum via stream. Because it, it, uh, that game would take 6 billion parts if I were to continue the Let's Platinum. So I just want to stream the rest. And honestly, it's not getting that many views anyway. So I just feel like finishing it on stream. And I could get good chunks of it done through stream. Which is really convenient. Especially because Uncharted takes a long time to Platinum. Uh, and it's... It takes a lot to fit it in the video. Like, fuck that asshole, by the way. Cock block me on the ladder and start kicking me in the face like five times. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, uh, I think those are the next two games I really want to focus on. More so RE5. I'm, I'm really in the mood to play that right now. That'll probably be the next video up on my channel. Is another stream for that. 
Um, I want to finish it, get it out of the way, and maybe uh, put some time into Uncharted 4 as well before Resident Evil 4 comes out. And that's really what I want to do next now that uh, Dark Souls 3 is out of the way. And I'm going to gradually keep getting back to my other stuff too, you know, whenever I can. Um, by the way, I'm fucking retarded. I said we're a little over halfway through the video earlier. That was not true at all. That was a blatant lie. I looked at the time and I had a fucking stroke. Uh, holy shit. We, we're only now a little over halfway through the video. What the hell happened to me? What, what went wrong in my mind? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I just talked 15 minutes straight. Damn right I deserve a swig. But, uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with Kingdom Hearts, I'm, and I want to stay on it. I really want to stay on it, because, um, you know, I got so many fucking games to play right now. I'm jumping back and forth. Like, I, I, I was playing the shit out of Hyper Light Drifter, and then it kind of just stopped. Uh, and I really want to get back to that game, because that game is fucking awesome. But, uh, yeah, now I'm on Kingdom Hearts as well, and I'm, I'm kind of really hooked. And, uh, I, I kind of want to stay hooked. Like, I want to finish... Terra Aqua and Ven's story, at least. I, like, I want to beat the game. I want to beat the game with all three characters and say that I beat it before I put it down. If I put it down. I, I just want to stay on it right now because I really... Th there are so many games where I pick up, play them, play for a bit, and then uh, drop them and kind of forget about them, leave them on the back burner. Like, uh, I did that with Resident Evil Revelations. I did that twice. Uh, although the first time I dropped it was for anger issues because the game was pissing me off uh, Because it wasn't what I expected, but when I bought it again recently, I started playing it again. I started a whole new file um, I got pretty into it. I almost got back to where I was on my old file, and then I stopped again uh, I just stopped playing I, I put it down, and I never felt like going back to it So now that's sitting there again, and yet that happens with me like sometimes I just lose fucking interest and, uh, actually, you know, my channel, uh, conflicts with that sometimes. Sometimes me making videos, like, for example, you know, Dark Souls 3, um, you know, there would be often times where I was playing a different game. By the way, I highly don't recommend doing what I'm doing right here because <laughs> I got so lucky that they didn't just fucking all kill me right there and I actually got to the ring. I would say kill all those guys and make your way to the ring before fucking going on a suicide mission. Um, suicide Squad was great, by the way. I saw it yesterday. Good movie. Uh, I don't know why the fuck that movie's getting bad reviews because it was a good fucking movie. It was funny. The characters were awesome. And I have no idea why that movie's getting bad reviews because it doesn't deserve it at all. Like, people are on crack saying that that movie's bad. Me and Nath walked out of that movie and we're like, what the fuck? What are review like? What are critics talking about? That was good. So, so you know, if anyone was thinking about seeing Suicide Squad, there you go. You have my permission. You have my blessing. Now you can go see the fucking movie. I know you were all dying for it, but there it is. Better late than never. But anyway, um, so yeah, I really want to stay on Birth by Sleep and finish it and beat it because you know it's a good cage game, and I want to say that I fucking beat it. Uh. I don't think I'll platinum it because it ha that game has a lot of bitch trophies. But uh, you know, we'll see. Um, you know, maybe I'll get Nath to fucking be my trophy bitch and just get the ones I can't get for me because uh, you know he he fucking loves Kingdom Hearts with a burning passion. Uh, when he was over the past two days, he was just sitting watching me play it, and that was pretty fun. Uh, he, he helped a lot because the game would have been very confusing to me and he just told me how everything works and Made the process a lot faster But uh, you know and what I mean by process is like learning curve but uh, Yeah, so I want to do that uh, I've talked about the things that I want to do my uh, the next things that I want to focus on re force coming out and uh yeah, I guess I'll talk about, like, games coming out, um, within the next few months. The only games that are coming out that really interest me, uh, I'd really like the Bioshock collection. I won't lie. There's a Bioshock collection coming out on PS4 that has the first game, the second game, and Bioshock Infinite. Uh, all three games that were on PS3. 
that was a series I just never got into, and a lot of people say that it's really good, that all the games are fantastic. Um, and uh, I've I've played the first game, uh, but that's it. I I actually bought the um, th there was a mini collection on PS3 that had the first game and the second game only. This was before Infinite came out. And I had that for a while, and uh, I was playing it with my girlfriend at the time. But, uh, you know, we actually had some issues, and uh, that game just reminded... Like, it, it just had bad memories, because we were playing it together at the time when we were fucking having issues and shit, and it kind of just... I, I totally stopped playing the game, dropped it because of because of what was happening, all the drama and shit at the time. So, kind of rubbed me the wrong way, and the game just fell in the back burner. I ended up trading it in because I was like, "Fuck that, I'm not playing it again." Um, but now, um, that kind of works out because you know I hear they're great games, and I I should have kept them. And uh, now the PS4 is coming out with all three fucking games on PS4, so. That really works out. So I'll, I, I'll probably end up picking that up. Uh, I don't know if I'll pick it up day one. Because that would... I don't know. It, it seems like an unnecessary expense. Watch me fail here like three fucking times. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I might not buy it day one. But I definitely want it for my collection. Because, I, you know, I hear they're amazing games. And I was really liking the first one when I was playing it. It was a good game. I was liking it a lot. Uh, so, I definitely want to have that in my collection, just to have, so that whenever I feel like visiting it, I can. So, you know, that's something coming out in September that I want. Um, obviously, RE4 is the first thing coming out that I want. Bob Shock comes out after that. The next game after that of interest is Final Fantasy XV. Uh, that game actually looks fucking sick. That game looks badass. The, like, all the characters seem so interesting and cool looking. The battle system looks awesome. The game's fucking beautiful, as most uh, Final Fantasy games are when they come out. And uh, that game looks really promising and cool. I'm just waiting for the review on it. I, I'm really hoping it's not as disappointing as 13 was. Um, but, uh, yeah, that game looks really solid, looks promising, and I'm, I'm probably gonna buy that. Probably. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for, in terms of videos for that game. I probably should do something, because that's a big fucking game. Like, Final Fantasy XV has been coming out for, like, over a decade it's been in development. That's what I mean by it's a big game. It's been highly anticipated by everybody. Everyone's known about it for the longest time. And it's been coming out fucking forever. Like, I remember uh, seeing shit on that game when I was fucking in elementary school. I'm like years after high school now, and it's still coming out. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, that game's been long overdue. And, uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It finally looks, uh... You know, like, it's... It looks like it's gonna be promising, and... I don't know what I'm gonna do on it, but I do know that I'm very interested in the game. And, uh, I think after that... Uh, what comes out next is... The Skyrim Collection on PS4 with all the DLC. 100% buying that game. 100%. I actually traded in my PS3 Skyrim... The second I heard that was coming out, I went and traded that in. Got five bucks for it too, which is pretty good. Um, you don't get much for PS3 games these days. So, I thought five bucks was pretty good. I highly don't recommend doing what you're seeing me do right now. Because with all those fucking dogs on you... Look, I almost fucking died. I came real fucking close. So, uh, yeah. Don't be impatient like me. Um, unless you're confident. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, um, but yeah, I totally want that Skyrim remaster. Uh, I would probably do videos on that. I've, I've platinum that game twice. I love that game so much, and I cannot wait to play it again. Especially with all the DLC that I never got to play. Because the DLC in that game looked fucking cool. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then I think after that will be Kingdom Hearts 2.8, which will be cool. Um... And then, I uh, 2.8, mind you, doesn't have a legitimate release date. Uh, Square Enix hasn't 
come out with an actual release date for the game, it's, uh, the place marker date is always December 31st for every game. Like, whenever a game is to be announced, when it comes to release dates, they always put the place marker, the default date is December 31st, always. So that's what it is for 2.8 right now. I don't know if that means it's coming out this year. I could actually see it coming out next year. Like, it's possible. They could push it back. But, uh, yeah, so hopefully that's the next game, but it might not be. And then after that, January 24th, I believe, is Resident Evil 7. And that's, honestly, that's not even that far away from now. Like, they, you got to think that they must be pretty far into development if it's coming out that soon. Although, mind you, it, it could very well be delayed because games do that sometimes. But, uh, and I can totally see that happening because January 24th seems really soon. Like, they must have had a lot of time to work on the game already. Like, we got that demo on PlayStation, uh, on, on PlayStation Plus, but, uh, you know, I, I, that felt like a pretty, like, alpha demo. I, I would have no, I would have never thought that they were this far into development, uh, but they must be if it's coming out that soon. Like, January is not that far away. So, you know, that's pretty interesting that it's coming out that soon. And, you know, I'm hoping it's... I am I have high hopes for that game, man. Resident Evil 7 is going to be the start of, like, a new era for Resident Evil. Like, they're trying to go back to their horror roots. And they could either fail miserably or succeed with, you know, great success. <laughs> um... I'm really hoping it's the the, the latter. Uh, I always get the latter and the former mixed up. I, I don't even know which one is which. I might have just said the the, the, the former. I, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so that's what comes out next. And uh, there's not much after that. Uh, that Zero Horizon game or Zero Dawn Horizon, whatever. I can't remember the title. But that game with, like... Yeah, the fucking native girl with the bow fighting machines. That game looked pretty cool. I think that comes out February something. February 28th, maybe? But uh, that game looked pretty interesting. I was thinking about maybe getting that. But uh, yeah, for in terms of games coming out, uh, that's pretty much it. So in terms of new projects, you know, uh, the only real big titles are going to be like Final Fantasy 15 and Resident Evil 7 are the two biggest titles that uh, I'm looking that I'm looking forward to within the nearest future. So, and then everything else is just going to be other stuff like side stuff, like remasters or whatever. S shit, we've already seen. But remasters are remasters, and I fucking love them. So I'm going to play them regardless. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, the layout. Those are the games that I'm interested in that I may very well end up picking up. So, now you have an idea of what's to come, and what I have yet to work on, what I'm planning on working on next, stuff like that. I give you a pretty much a whole rundown on what's going on, so hopefully this video was uh, pretty helpful in that sense. I think this is the last ring. I th let me check. Yep, this is the last ring in the game to, uh, to pick up, so this is going to be where we're platinum, so... We're wrapping up the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been fucking Platinum Dark Souls. Let's Platinum Dark Souls 3. And uh, it was a blast. I loved this game. It was really good. And, uh, yeah. Um, I, I think I enjoyed it more. Well, I definitely enjoyed it more than Bloodborne. But I want to say I enjoyed it more than Dark Souls 2. But, ah, uh, fuck. It's hard to say because I really liked Dark Souls 2. I don't know. I don't really want to rank them, honestly. I don't want to pick favorites. But yeah, so that'll be the last ring that you pick up. Um, I'm about to show in gesture form how I felt when I picked up that ring. Um, but uh, yeah, that was it, guys. All trophies done. Dark Souls 3 concluded. It was a blast. I'm going to miss this game for sure. It was a lot of fun. There you go. That's exactly how I felt when I finished. Holy shit. That was exhausting. Thank you guys for watching. I will definitely see you in the next project.